Or, oh, you know which one is my favorite rap song about a DC Comics franchise? The Riddler by Method Man. Honestly, I consider that the pinnacle of a definitive soundtrack anthem, directly relating to the theme and characters of the movie and with a matching crazy video. Meth even puts on a fat suit to look like an old mobster movie villain. I mean, sure, he ends up looking more like the Penguin than the Riddler, but at least there's effort put into the video. You wanna go to war? You leave me no choice in this matter. Look, we got a whole plot set up with this person. I don't really know who she is, but she's apparently messing with Don Provolone's money. She must think Don Provolone is a chump. Then we get these crazy visuals, which I think for the first time in soundtrack music video history actually relates the clips from the movie to the video as it's flashing between the Riddler and Method Man, indicating that he's emulating the persona. And later on in the video, Method meets up with the other villains for a meeting, inviting the female villain who messed with his money. But uh oh, when she shows up, no one else is there except a statue dressed as Method Man that has a bomb strapped to it and boom, her fate is sealed as it interpolates other clips from the Batman movie for the explosion. Okay, so that's my favorite Batman villain related music video. So how does this one stack up? Well, in this video, we've actually got Jared Leto reprising his role as the Joker. Well, that's pretty awesome. So what does he do here? So he walks in and mugs at people for a little bit. Oh, oh but then he meets Rick Ross and he just pats him on the shoulder. Oh, wait, here we go. So they're standing on a boat together and then... Still nothing? Uh oh, the music cut. Shit's about to go down now. Oh snap, Skrillex is about to sneak up on the Joker and... No, still nothing? Uh, I mean, you just cut out the music. I, I assumed something important was gonna happen. Okay, now the music's coming back in like something just went down and... Well, w what happened? Maybe they, I think, robbed the boats on the docks? I mean, those guys are carrying some sort of black bag that we barely see for a second, so something must have happened, but man, they really need to make it a little bit more clear than that. Hell, this whole song's about being murderous psychopaths. Meanwhile, the worst thing they do is maybe rob a boat, the act of which the video for some reason doesn't even want to show. I guess because, oh man, we don't want to show Rick Ross holding a gun to someone's head and stealing their things. Might sully the man's good name. Not that the Riddler video was some masterpiece of storytelling, but at least there was some sort of movement and style. Meanwhile, with this video, Hell, it doesn't even tie in the movie by showing clips from it. It's mainly just people standing around while the Joker seems like he should be doing something interesting. Actually, that does tie into the Suicide Squad movie.